What is everybody? Welcome to the Dubiox Express. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to use the bot, the intelligence, the artificial intelligence chatbot of Google. If you've used it before, ChatGPT, actually, it's not that um, different from the meet bot of Google. So if you go directly into the bot.google.com, you're going to be seeing that we have here the bot. It says can generate the scout made move into chess using Python. So this one is going to be helping us to bring our ideas to life. So bot is actually into an experimental and might give an accurate or an appropriate responses so we can help make bot better by leaving some feedback as we did before as ChatGPT was just getting started with. So what I'm going to be doing here is to hit into try bot and then we want to agree to the terms of service. I'm going to hit into I agree. You must have, of course, an account into Google in order to get started. So I'm going to hit now into continue. And now, as you can see, I'm bot. You're creating a help collaboration. I have limitations and won't always get it right. So check it out here. As you can see here, we have the left part where you can see our chats. We have the bot activity. We have the FIQ. We have different updates. We can see something about the help. We can use light theme if we wanted to or just stick around with the dark theme. So if I compare this really quick with the chat EBD, actually, it looks like really the same here. So uh, it's not like they're innovating something, but uh, actually it's looking really, really great. But here into ChatGPT, we don't have the dictation mode that is actually available into Google. We can use a microphone if you wanted to. Now, um, another chat of artificial intelligence that we can use for free is the chat of Bing. So the artificial intelligence of the Microsoft Bing chat is actually working totally for free. So um, if you check it out this, we have the recent activity into the right pod and we can choose different fonts here. So I can change this for this one or whatever. So uh, it's not like too innovator, but it, it feels like it's a little bit different from the predecessor, which is the chat DVD. So uh, in order to use the bart.google.com, it's exactly the same process as you are using ChatGPT or using Microsoft Bing Chat. If you haven't used this before, what you just need to do is to ask whatever you are looking for into your mind. Let's say, for example, you are a YouTuber. And what you wanted to do is to find or create a script of how you can get started by telling people how to, I don't know, maybe um, create um, for social media into Canva. So we just enter a prompt here. Let's go for create. You don't need to have models in here. You don't have to please do this. Thank you. Just go directly into what you need. Let's go with create a script for my YouTube video that needs to be about getting started in Canva. So now uh, we don't have to wait like a lot, I guess. We have like one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here. I want to see how much time that this actually took me. Now it took me less than five seconds to receive all of this actual information. Now let's do exactly the same thing, but with the chat DVD. I'm gonna copy this information. I'm gonna paste it here into chat DVD and I'm gonna hit into send. So as we are getting started, I have just checked it out that the actual chat GPT gave me like a really, really easy and quick answer. And as you can see, this is what we have so far. So this guy has really, really like a lot, but truly, truly a lot of content that I can use to use it for a video. So uh, what I want to do, meanwhile, this one stays like this. I'm going to go into the actual bank and I'm going to ask the same thing. But check it out here into the upper side of Bing. We do have a conversation style. We have the more precise, the more balanced, and the more creative. This one is going to be helping us to clear our conversation and start original and imaginative chat. This one is going to be helping us to start with something informative and friendly. And this one is more concise and straightforward with chat. So let's go and try it with more creative. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I wait a few seconds here. As you can see, maybe Microsoft Bing is taking a little bit more of time than the other guys. But now let's go and focus into what we have uh, received so far. So as you can see, uh, ChatGPT gave us like a huge, huge script of what we can do into Canva. 
and Bart gave us something um, not that huge, but it still do a really great work. So we have the introduction. Hi everyone and welcome to my video about getting started into Canva. Canva is blah 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 blah. In this video, we'll be showing you how to do this. Create a Canva account, choosing a template, adding text and images, saving and sharing your design, the conclusion, and that's it. Now into ChatGPT, with exactly the same prompt, with exactly the same message, we have <laughs> even ChatGPT gave us an introduction of the background music, which I think is like actually great, creative, um, honest. Now we have host. Hello everyone, welcome to today's YouTube video where we'll be diving into the wonderful world of Canva. So this one feels a little bit more natural, more humanized. This one actually feels like it's not that uh, you cannot connect like a lot with people that say. So hi and welcome to my video about getting started here. Canva is free. So um, this one goes directly into what is exactly what we are actually creating for. But here into the chat EBD gave us something more human, something more real. So um, we have exactly the same elements. What is Canva? Creating your Canva account, exploring the Canva interface, choosing a template, customizing your design, using Canva features. This is something new. Saving and exporting, something new. Additional resources and support, and the conclusion. And of course, background music fades out. So between both of them, actually, ChatGPT works a little bit better than this one. Now check it out here, the Microsoft Bing chat. As you can see, we do have something even more uh, greater here. We have, for example, here, uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, Canva is very easy and used here to get started. You create here for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this. Uh, create a YouTube thumbnail, the editor to change the text. So this one does not create me like a list of what I can do. They just give me like a pure script. So I believe like if I needed to do, uh, needed to rate, all of this, I believe that number one should be the winner should be ChatGPT. Then that would be the Microsoft Bank, and on the third place that would be Googlebot. I believe that maybe, uh, maybe Google is not that accurate, or maybe is not what I'm actually looking for, because this is an experiment, uh, experimental uh, stuff. So you don't have to, let's say, worrying about if this one actually does not work for you. You can try to make the compare between different subjects and between different ways. Uh, instead of going with social media, you can go with, let's say, for example, like an ideas to make some uh, manual stuff, whatever. So just check it out. The three applications uh, using bot is exactly as using ChatGPT. So after you finish here, you can receive set your chat into the left part and hit into reset and then you're actually good to go. So with that being said guys I think we have not covered the basics we now know how to use Google bot. We're gonna be still having to check it out the updates, the FIQ and more activities of the bot so we can see how it's gonna be looking at the end of the day. But I'm pretty sure that uh, bot's gonna be a little bit much more better than the others chat GPT on the futures. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more amazing toes of this great great host of Google. And well, hopefully guys, I can see you on the next video.